everyone and thank you so much for coming back and joining me for another video and if you happen to be new to my channel then hello and welcome to my channel Supreme Comics Girl and today I thought I would come on and talk about the character Tinkerbell which is of course a Disney very very popular famous uh, character in Disney I mean my goodness who does not know who Tinkerbell is just to let you all know I have a massive obsession with Tinkerbell, this is a Brito ornament that I have. Uh, that's what the design's called of the company. It's Brito. And I also have a Disney Traditions one of her. And I also have, these can laugh all you want and call me a child. I know I'm a child at heart. This is Silver Mist from the Tinkerbell movies. And of course, she's one of uh, Tinkerbell's friends and her wings move. But to quickly get on with the video, guys, at Disney, up at the Mouse House, they have, believe it or not, I don't think it was possible, but they have been losing more of their marbles. I thought they'd lost them all by now, but obviously not. What has happened is the young actress, and she is called Yara Shahidi, she has been casted by Disney to play Tinkerbell in the live action movie of Peter Pan and Wendy. Now, I just wanna first of all say in terms of this actress, I actually really like her. I think she's lovely. I think she's really, really likable. I have seen interviews of her and everything. She seems really, really genuine and really lovely girl down to earth. She was in a series that I watched called Blackish. Now, I don't know how many seasons there are. I only ever seen the first season. And I actually pretty much really enjoyed it. I didn't think it was the most funniest comedy that show that it's seen. I might go back and rewatch the rest. Um, if I've seen it on TV, I would certainly watch the ones I'd even already seen. A, a great actress in it as well. But I know her as the little cute, adorable little girl that acted alongside Eddie Murphy in the hilarious comedy, own it on DVD, called Imagine That. And she was just the most adorable little, you know, child actress. She was so young and cute in it and everything. But anyway, she has been cast at now. Before I sort of talk about my thoughts and opinions on it, because I really love Disney. If you've been on my channel and followed me for the past couple of years or what have you, you'll know I love Disney. Um, Tinkerbell and Jasmine would be my two favourites in Disney. And I'm obsessed. Anytime my mum sees anything to do with Tinkerbell, I know she just straight, straight away thinks, Julie, Julie would like that or something, you know? Jude Law has been cast apparently as well for to play Captain Hook and I am so 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 hyped and happy for that because I love myself a bit of Jude Law. I absolutely love Jude Law. I think he is absolutely fantastic. So that is really good news that he has been casted and to be honest look guys I think that what Disney's doing here is wrong. However I'll be honest, I will be watching this. It's going to be in theatres first and then it's going to be going to Disney streaming. That's how they're going to work it. They're not going to just throw it on to um, the Disney streaming service. Now, I have no idea, with especially with the way things are in the world right now, I wouldn't go to a, a movie theatre at the moment anyway. You know, I wouldn't chance it. But uh, I'll either see it in the, in the cinema uh, at the movies or I will wait for it to come out on Disney Plus streaming because I do have Disney Plus and to be honest i will watch it and i also will probably watch the little mermaid as well to see how that turns out but i think what disney's doing is wrong this i mean we were given the news last year that halle bailey has been cast as ariel for the little mermaid live action movie and of course you know i thought that that was wrong i thought it was you know a hand-me-down it's race swap race swapping and it's very condescending, I feel. I feel that why not create a brand, a whole brand new fictional character within Disney? Uh, reason being is obviously we all know, I don't need to sit here and even tell you this, Disney is freaking well lazy. This is diversity done wrong. You can do diversity right, diversity right, and you can do diversity wrong. I'm going to give you two examples. There is a fairy in, Tink one the, in the Tinkerbell uh, movies. The only I own all of them. There's only one that I wasn't overly fussed on, so I didn't buy it, which was um, the Never Beast one. But I own all of them. Secret of the Wings is my favorite one by far. The snow and everything, and the story was so endearing. But anyway, right. 
There is a character in the Tinkerbell movies called Iridessa, and she is, of course, a black character, but she's a friend of Tinkerbell's. But Tinkerbell, do you know what I mean? Like, it's Tinkerbell. Do you know where I'm coming from as well? And you know the live action movie, uh, Angelina Jolie, uh, Maleficent, right? And Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. I did a review on that movie. If you want to go and watch it, a little bit of self-promo there, guys. But I really enjoyed that movie. And there was black actors in it. That's diversity done right. Put black actors into movies, Disney, Marvel, DC, anything, shows, movies, anything you want, right? But... To me, this is race swapping and this is, it's kind of like a hand-me-down. I think that's what I personally feel. I feel that this actress would be better deserved to be given a whole brand new, like Disney sit down at the mouse house and write a script of a brand new female character. Something magical, you know, and... You know, and you know what? It's the same both sides of the coin, guys. I would be sitting here saying the exact same thing if this was a black fictional character being played by a white actor or actress. I would be sitting here saying the exact same thing. So I'm not trying to say like, oh, it's a one-sided coin. It's definitely not. It's a, it's both on the scenes. It's two-sided coins. She is quite young and so is the girl that's playing Ariel. And Disney's very cute and smart in that way, aren't they? Because I'm not saying that they're naive, not saying that whatsoever, have nothing against either the two of them wish them all the best of success and i hope both of these movies do succeed because i'd feel so bad for the poor girls if it doesn't work out because they'd feel awful tinkerbell from the 1950s in peter pan has been white with blonde hair that's how we know of tinkerbell and i don't see why i mean yes it's okay to switch things up and stuff like that but it seems like disney doesn't care about the mythology and yes, okay, it ha it still has to make sense, though. There still has to be some sort of logic behind the story that they're trying to tell. And if they want to switch it up, they can switch it up. But I just don't see the sense in using race swapping for the sake of diversity, because that is all this is for. It's diversity. They only care about money. They only care about diversity. They don't care about uh, writing a story or creating something new because they are so lazy. It's very close together as well. If you think about it, we just got the news last year about Ariel and now another um, Disney character. So where does it end? And that's within the space of like a year, isn't it? So what's going to be at Christmas or next year? Are we going to be told that Cinderella and Snow White are going to be black? What sense would that make? Snow White was um, written by um, Brothers Grimm. And if you think about it, there are two brothers that wrote that. And that's a European, that was a European told story. So what sense would that make if we're going to have a black uh, Snow White or black dwarfs? I'm sorry, but that is not going to make any logical sense. It it, it just it just doesn't. But if you think about it, yes, okay. Um, Tinkerbell, you know, mythological, okay. She's, she, she's a fictional character. However, even saying that, there has to be some sort of logic and facts behind fiction. And the story has to be done right, basically, is what I'm trying to say. There has to still be some facts behind the fiction. Do you just know what I mean? I think you'll make sense of that. Uh, there's three um, actors that I think would be perfect for this uh, to play Tinkerbell. Only, yes, they would have to sort of um, de-age them and things like that. And obviously, they'd, they'd make them... the the the, the character smaller anyway for Tinkerbell but I would love Kristen Chenoweth to play Tinkerbell Reese Witherspoon or Cameron Diaz now Kristen Chenoweth she was in Deck the Halls the Christmas movie and um, she was also in Bewitched with Will Farrell and Nicole Kidman and she's just got that sort of like cheeky personality that Tinkerbell kind of has because she is she's very sort of kind of like like this like so sort of like cheeky overconfident car uh, sort of a character uh, to her and she's very charismatic and I think she would be absolutely adorable as Tinkerbell same goes for Reese Witherspoon you know the all these three that I've mentioned all have the face and you know Reese Witherspoon's tiny and petite anyways and I just think Cameron Diaz Reese Witherspoon or Kristen Chenoweth would be ideal um Obviously, you know, go ahead, do de and whatever. There's so many things that can be done now. But live action-wise, I think Disney at its best has been The Jungle Book by Jon Favreau, who, of course, you know, Matt, The Mandalorian, he's fantastic. Um, I think he did a really great job at The Jungle Book. But I think also 
the uh, Johnny Depp, uh, Alice in Wonderland, those two live actions, uh, and then Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass, there was two of them. I thought they were fantastically well done. But I think that the other one as well would be, I'm trying to think, I liked Beauty and the Beast. That was fantastic acting, nothing wrong with it. I also, I thought the visuals were stunning in Beauty and the Beast and Snow and everything. And of course, I'm a big Harry Potter fan, so I loved it. And I also really, really liked, and I think it's definitely really one of the, definitely up there, one of the best live action ones that I've seen. And, you know, again, I did a review on it, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. What do all of you think? I think this is just Disney using her, basically. Tinkerbell, if you walk into the Walt Disney store, kids are going to be like, eh? And in the cinema, in the movie theater, they're going to be like, eh? Because, you know, we've known Tinkerbell to be white with blonde hair. We have known Ariel to be white with red hair. And I'm just saying, it's my personal opinion. I don't think it's the worst, like, thing in the world, obviously. Clearly not. But what I'm saying is, is I do like to come on and have my opinion on things I have passion for. I know there's obviously a lot of channels out there that they just come on and they're ranting the rave. And it's clearly for views and clearly to get money um but i only come on here as a hobby to discuss things that i genuinely have passion for i am massive huge fan of tinkerbell oh my gosh uh, tinker tinkerbell and the secret of the wings oh my gosh that movie the songs in it are oh, stunning uh, actually all of the tinkerbell movies um there's a natasha beddingfield song uh called weightless and it is beautiful just type in natasha beddingfield weightless i'm weightless I'm weightless. It's just, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. But yes, I am a massive Tinkerbell fan. And to be honest, I am not happy with the news that I read this morning. I am really, really interested to know what everyone thinks down in the comment section. Because it's a heck to the freaking well know from me. And that's the actress aside, you know, 100%. Because I do like her. But no, not for Tinkerbell. And that's Disney's issue. I don't have an issue... No issue with her, obviously, of course. But this is Disney that is the issue here. And when is it going to stop? Are we getting a black snow freaking well white light? Disney are doing this just as a business business strategy because they know it's quite lucrative. You know, they're making a ton of money from these live actions and they're just doing it as a quick cash grab. And I just thought I would let everybody know as well that I don't actually make money here on YouTube. A lot of people think and assume that I do, but I actually don't. And that's a personal choice of mine. I do not want to be making money from YouTube's platform itself. A lot of things about YouTube I don't agree with, but I do enjoy being on here and making videos for you guys. So I really appreciate it. If you would like to donate to my YouTube channel, I will leave the link to my PayPal down below. You can go on at any stage as much as you like you could donate a dollar two dollars five dollars whatever it really is, is irrelevant and um, I never expect it but so many people have asked and that's why that has now been set up so other than that guys got that embarrassing late of the way thank you so much for all the support that I get here on my YouTube channel it means the world to me and I'm already excited about coming on and doing my next video so I will see you all in the next video and take care guys and Look after yourselves. Bye.